I move on now. Okay, to question 5A. Okay, 5A, it works something like this. Okay, 5A says this. Uh, the time is inversely proportional to the number of workers. So first you say time is inversely proportional to the number of workers. Alright, then they say that 96 workers takes 14 days. So... 14 equals to k over 96. You solve for k. k is 1, 3, 4, 4. Then what happens here is do not forget to write down the equation. So the equation is t equals to 1, 3, 4, 4 over w. And that is 5a. Now, next part is this 5b. They say Find the number of days taken by 112 workers to complete the repair works. So 112 workers, right? So first I say 5B, right? 112 workers, T equals to 1344 over 112. The number of days is equals to 12 days. Simple enough for 5B. Most of you got this one correct as well. 5C, okay, they ask, alright, if you want to repair the ship in 4 days, so now the let T equals to 4, so I say 4 equals to 1, 3, 4, 4 over W, eventually you solve for W, W is equals to 3, 3, 6. Notice, 336 workers are needed to complete the uh, works in 4 days. But the question they asked was, how many more? Okay, Originally, it takes 96 workers to uh, 14 days. So what you must do is take a uh, uh, number of workers, okay, more number of workers more is 336. Minus 96, not one one, might uh, not one one two, and you get 240 workers. Okay, so it's 96 and not one one two because originally we'll take 96 workers. Okay, to complete the ship in 14 days, so it's minus 96 and not minus one one two itself. Okay, and that concludes question five. Now I will move on to question six. A. Okay, 6A, we talks about map scale, so we know that 3cm represents 13.5km, 1cm okay, represents 4.5km. Okay, for map scale, what happens is both of them should have same unit, so I convert my 4.5km into cm. So if you convert you times 1000 and you times 100 again, you should get 450,000 cm. Cm and cm for map scale, just eliminate the unit. So the map scale is 1 is to 450,000. And that concludes 6a. So take note, there should be no units here. 6b, 31.5 km apart from each other. So 1 cm represents 4.5 km. So you want distance on map. Okay, so right there. Distance on map is equals to 31.5 divided by 4.5. I get the distance on map is 7 cm. That's 6b. Now we move on to 6c. Okay, 6C. 6C looks like this. The area of a lake on the map is 0.6. Find the actual area. So I have 1 cm represents 4.5 km. Now, in order for us to get the area scale, we square both sides. So what I'll get is 1 cm square representing. 20.25 km square. If I'm not wrong, let me check the answer scheme. Yes, 1 cm square represents 20.25 km square. Ok, 
Okay, now I want 0 0.6 cm square will represent 20.25. Here to here we multiply by 0 0.6, so here to here we multiply by 0 0.6 as well. So what we get is the area okay is equals to 20.25 times 0 0.6 is 12.15 km square and that is 6c now quickly we move on to 7a itself okay 7a works like this what we have is 2x minus 5y multiplies to 3y plus 4x okay then we have 2x multiplies to 3y plus 4x and we have negative 5y multiplying to 3y plus 4 x as well so what we get is 6xy plus 8x squared minus 15y squared minus 20xy simplifying 8x squared 6 minus 20 and minus 15y squared all simplified there. 7b. 7b, last question. Okay, first thing that we do now here is we open up the brackets. Okay, so half m square minus 5 over 8 m. Negative 1 times m gives me negative m. Negative negative gives me positive 3a 3 over 8 m square okay down here let's try to simplify what we have in these large brackets first so what I have is half m square minus okay here's negative 3 over 8 m plus 3 over 8 m square because 5 8 minus 1 m is negative 3 over 8 m then we open the bracket one more time negative 1 times this gives me positive 3 over 8 m negative times this positive gives me negative 3 over 8 m square okay so now we simplify half minus 3 over 8 will give me 1 over 8 m square plus 3 over 8 m and that concludes the corrections for common test 1